Hey everyone, this is an introduction to a new single sign-on test we're adding to the Remote Connectivity Analyzer. But before I show you the test, I wanted to give you a high-level overview of how single sign-on works with clients like Outlook 2007, Outlook 2010, Exchange ActiveSync, POP, and IMAP. So we're talking specifically about the single sign-on experience with Office 365. This means you've also got Active Directory on-premise and you're syncing with Office 365 via the DirSync process. It's important to note that while you're syncing user objects, you don't sync passwords with the service. These remain on-premise and we need something called Active Directory Federated Services available to make this work. To the picture here, I've also added some Exchange-specific servers. In addition, you'll have a firewall and perhaps a reverse proxy like ISA, TMG, or some other third-party proxy. So here's what happens when a client with a mailbox in the cloud signs on. I'm showing the Outlook experience here, but this could also be a mobile device or a POP IMAP client. So Outlook client prompts the user for the username and password. That information is sent to Office 365, and the Office 365 server says, hey, wait, is this customer federated? So within the federated gateway, Office 365, it looks it up, finds out that yes, this customer is in fact federated. Next thing it says is, well, what's the server that knows the password of this user? Looks that up and it finds out that it's at adfs.contosa.com. So then the Office 365 service goes to the public DNS and says, hey, what's the IP address of this server? DNS server responds, we get an IP address to go connect to. So. Office 365 service then goes and attempts to connect to that customer's ADFS server, has to traverse through the firewall, go through any reverse proxy, and hopefully land on the ADFS server. Next thing it does is check to validate that the certificate is right. In this case it is. And so then finally it says, hey, is the password valid for this user? And the ADFS server goes and talks to Active Directory on-premise and validates that it truly is the right password. If it is, great, Office 365 passes the mailbox to the Outlook client and everything works out great. But what happens if there's a misconfiguration somewhere? In this instance, the Outlook client or a mobile device, what it does is just continually prompts for the password. You don't know either the user or the IT administrator, you don't know where the problem is. It doesn't give you any indication whatsoever. So this is where the Remote Connectivity Analyzer comes in. This is an existing website used to validate multiple exchange scenarios from the cloud. It helps IT administrators confirm a new installation is configured properly, or in many instances it helps them diagnose a problem and directs them where to start troubleshooting. We're adding a new Office 365 tab to the tool and we've created a new single sign-on test. When you go to the site and select this test, you'll be asked for a username and password of a test account. After you enter this information, the site will perform a synthetic logon and analyze each step along the way. So our say is going to go out to Office 365 and check to see if the domain is federated. We'll analyze the response and determine if it's configured correctly. If it is, we'll move on and look up the host name of the ADFS server in DNS, get that IP address back, and then we'll attempt to connect to the ADFS server on your on-premise network. Next thing we'll do is validate whether or not the certificate is configured right. In this example here, it isn't. Maybe it's the common name isn't configured right, and we'll actually report that back to you and also point you to documentation on how to fix that up. If it was configured right, the next thing we would do is actually do a logon. And you could then validate whether or not that entire end-to-end -end process is configured right. If it was, great. You know, if it actually failed at the logon part, then you'd know that maybe something was misconfigured on ADFS. Here's the remote connectivity analyzer that sits on our staging server. You'll notice there's a new Office 365 tab. When you click on it, you'll notice a new test. This is that single sign-on test I was just talking about. So you go ahead and select that test and click Next. You're going to be prompted for your Microsoft Online ID and password. So go ahead and type that stuff in. After you type that in, go ahead and select the box. Do you accept the agreement? And 
Normally there'd be a CAPTCHA text box here. You'd have to prove you're human, but because we're on a staging server that doesn't exist, so go ahead and choose perform test. So here are the results of the test. You see that it was successful, but with a couple of warnings. And as we just talked about, you'll notice that the test steps outline each step within the whole process. So here we're validating that the domain is um, part, uh, it's th that the domain is federated. And you can see that there's the XML that comes back from the service see that we take the name and try to resolve it in DNS and here's the IP address that we retrieve from DNS then we attempt to connect to that IP address to port 443 so now we can see that that firewall is open etc. So if there was a failure point we would have stopped there and in the future linked to documentation we don't have that documentation linked up just yet but it will be when we do go live so hopefully you find that helpful. If you do, please let us know and provide any other feedback. Thanks.